Um, <clears throat> I'm really glad she didn't bring that uh, self-deprecation bowl. I couldn't get enough quarters at the bank for what I want to do. <laughs> I used to play a lot on the West Coast, about 30 years, going to little places and bars and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> after I came back to Massachusetts to get a real job, because that wasn't working out for me, I just put away all my guitars. And there came a day when I realized that I have a lot of money invested in the guitars, and I thought I'd just sell them. So while I was getting them all out to sell them, I took one of my acoustic guitars upstairs to the children's room. The kids were only about two years old then. And I played a song for uh, Paige. And when I, when I reached the end of the song, she started crying. And I was thinking, oh man, I'm really terrible. <laughs> I made a baby cry. <laughs> but my wife said, no, no, she's crying because you stopped. Oh. I said, okay, I'll keep one of them. <laughs> I'm going to play the song I did for her that night. <laughs> it's a Tom Harden song, and uh, Rusty does it way better than me, but I'll do it the way I did it for her that night. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, it's called uh, If I Were a Carpenter. Save my love through loneliness, save my love through sorrow, 